hey what's going on guys and welcome to the video today i'll be showing you how to create this liquid text animation which you enough through effect so without anything much further to do let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a new composition by pressing ctrl n on my keyboard and i'm going to type this liquid text for the width i'm going to allow it 1920 by 1080 and for the duration i'm going to allow it at four seconds background color black and i hit ok so to create the text i'm going to press ctrl c to activate my text tool click on the center of my composition and I type in motion and the font here i'm using is the mv bully which comes with the, with the windows operating system so i'm going to scale this up by holding shift and control my keyboard and I align this at the center of my composition I'll draw a path covering all this motion text here and I'm going to use the pen tool and I'll press G on my keyboard to activate the pen tool here. Without anything selected on the composition, I'll set the color to red to differentiate from this white here and for the size I'm going to set at 30. And to start drawing the line, I'll start from this very end here moving backwards. The reason is that when I apply the trim path, I'll run this to start here and move forward just like this. So I'll start here, click here and I'll draw a path here. And the main thing here is to just make this uh, path here to, to cover up this text layer below. I'm just going to draw a line here and i put another path here. Adjust it so it covers everything up. So moving to the next layer here, I'm just going to click on this shape layer here. Nothing is selected and I'm going to continue drawing the path. So I'm done creating the path all around the text. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click right here and change this to alpha mid. If you cannot find this button, just click here to toggle that on. So I'm going to create a trim path here. So I'll select my shape layer, move right down here, take earth, and I'll click on trim path. So the trim path, I'm going to use a start here and I'll move about three frames, three seconds ahead. And I set another keyframe for the start. Move to the very start and I bring this down up to hundred. Select all the keyframes here and I hit F9 to ease my keyframes. For this uh, trim multiple shapes, I'm going to select individually. So, every, so it animates one after another. So with that done, I'm going to press U to collapse everything down. And I'll click on this effect on presets and I'm going to type in simple choker. And I'll drag this onto my shape layer here. I'll, I'll give it a, a choke made of about, let's say 15. I'll type in again, rough edges. Drag this again on my shape layer. And for the border, I'm going to set it at, let's say 15. For this edge here, I'm going to set it at 5 and let me just change this border here to 10. For the scale, I'm going to hold out and click on this scale here so that this expression window opens and I'll type in time times 400. And I'll click off here and for this evolution, I'm going to bring my playhead to the very start, set a keyframe for the evolution, move to the 3 seconds mark and I'll change this value here to 2 and I'll hit OK. Select these two keyframes here again and I'll hit F9 to ease, ease the keyframes. So as you can see, it behaves as a liquid white animates in. So the next thing I'm going to do again is to type in fill. And for this fill, I'm going to drop this onto the text layer. And for the very start, I want the default color to be something green. Light green, just like this. This color works just fine. And I'll hit OK. So like these two layers, I'll press you to hide every keyframe. And I'll press Ctrl Z to duplicate these layers here. Press Ctrl Shift and the right arrow key once to move five, uh, 10 frames ahead. Then, with these two layers at the top selected, I'm going to hold out and I press the left angle bracket key at the layer. So it begins right here. I press Ctrl Z and I'll do the same again. So for this second layer here, I want the color to be, to be something blue. So I'll just click right here in the shape of, shade of blue and I'll hit OK. Select the shape layer here. For the choke mate, I'm going to change this at to be 10 and for this last color here we want this to be the default color that we want which is white and we don't need the simple choker right here to the, at the last uh, layer here shape layer so i'm going to put the value of zero here and that's it for today's tutorial guys hope you learned something new today concerning motion graphics smash the like button to help the channel grow and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials